Right now in front of me, I got a bunch of really cool stuff from Raid Japan, including the new 3.7 inch here at Taylor. There's a bunch of new OSP and this super sick rod from Mega Bass, the Orochi X10. How's it going guys? Welcome to The Drop. I'm Travis from Taco Bros. Um, every single Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we do The Drop. This week is a little bit early. So this week we're having our, this is kind of our anniversary sale. So we opened up um, during COVID, so we couldn't open the doors until June 1st. I don't really like to count that as our, our grand opening. It was more this weekend when everything kind of came to fruition. So. Uh, every year on this weekend, we try to do our, our annual spring sale. So there's going to be lots of great deals for you. We're going to run through those today as well. Um, we also have a bunch of really cool new drops from Raid, a bunch of new stuff from OSP, which we're super excited about. And those rods you just seen in the video, the new Orochi X10s are finally in store. Super excited about them. Finally got a chance to get on the water, use them a little bit this week. We had a bunch of fun. So let's get into the video this week. Also, uh, please follow me on Instagram at Taco Prez and leave, a, leave an idea in the description for Ashton for a new uh, Instagram name. The QTR46, we got to get rid of it. He needs something fishing related. Um, he hasn't been in Qatar in, in a long time. So we're going we're gonna to try to give him some name suggestions. We've been running through them for the last couple weeks. We're going to land on something super sick for the guy. I think it should be something camera related because he loves cameras. So. We're gonna to get to that. Okay, so this week we're gonna start on Raid. This is a really cool new product, something I've actually had a bunch of time throwing around, and it's become my favorite jig trailer, my, my favorite of all time. So I throw the Zero One jig. Actually, I'm gonna start by showing you. So I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. This is gonna be the initial showing of the 3.7 inch Hira Tyler. So the Hira Tyler, we, we actually came out with this a couple weeks ago in the 4.7 inch, which is another amazing bait. We still have some in stock, I believe, so check those out. But this is the 3.7 inch. So for me, this is much more of, especially where I am, this is a lot more of a usable size for me. The 4.7 is great. It's, it's gonna be really good, like I said, on a weighted EWG hook or just a weightless EWG hook. But the 3.7 for me is amazing as a jig trailer. So this is my favorite jig. This is an OSP01 jig. And this is what it looks like with the jig on it. So, so the Hero Tyler is essentially, how I look at it anyways, it's almost like they took some of the really cool stuff from a Bellows Gill or a Bellows Shad, and they took the, I'll say tail section from a Depths Bull Flat. So what is that gonna do? With the deep ribbing on this, it's gonna give it a lot of extra action. So this is very flexible bait. It's also gonna help with the hookup ratio. So you don't have a big chunky piece of plastic that's gonna be blocking the mouth. It's just gonna collapse. So as you can see, really easy to collapse, folds up really nicely. For me, what they've kind of taken from the depths is, you know, that tail section. So it's gonna have a little bit more of a hard thumping action if you have it rigged on a Texas rig. But if you rig this weightless, it's gonna help it imitate a dying shad a little bit more. So it's gonna help it, you know, have that spiral fall, um, which, is, which is awesome with the depths bull flat. So it's 3.7 inches. They're gonna come six to a pack. Uh, they're gonna come in these amazing clamshells. So they're gonna keep their shape really well. I will run through the colors with you really quick. I think I've opened about 17 packs of these things out of excitement. I'm gonna take them out so you guys can see them. Pretty standard, uh, this is gonna be Scupperdong. This is a super sick one from Raid, so this is gonna be Dark Cinnamon Shad. So it's got that nice white, it's got that nice pearl belly with like a almost green pumpkin blue flake on the back. This one's really sick. Okay, so next up is a uh, green pumpkin, or as they like to call it, Goody Pen Sukuru. So next up is gonna be uh, Ao Miso. That's the one that I had rigged up on that jig there. So next up is gonna be the always popular orange punch. So a little bit of green pumpkin on the on the front, a little bit of orange business on the back. Just a really nice shad color, so it's gonna be smoke pearl. So a little smoky back, a little pearl belly. Pretty dope. So next is gonna be uh, Zari Miso. So it's gonna be like a black back with red fleck, and then you're gonna look at the belly, it's gonna be more of like a scupper, or not scupper, no. It's gonna be more of like a brown belly, I would say. Brownish red. 
Okay, so next up is gonna be Tenega Ebi. So this is gonna be like a smoky kind of pearl base, I would say, um, but it has this really, really cool, um, you know, electric blue kind of color to it. I don't know if you can see, I hope you can see that. It looks really sick in this light. So definitely check this one out. So you're gonna have Minigil. It's a really cool one. So this is gonna have like that blue and gold flake in it, um, smoke belly. Finally, we're gonna have smoky shrimp. So it's gonna be this guy here. There you go. So those are all the colors. These are available online now. So check these guys out. I don't anticipate that they're gonna last very long. Throw these on a jig. That's that's honestly my favorite way to do them. They're gonna be great on a you know a three aught EWG or a three aught weighted EWG. Um, but I love these on a jig, so check them out. Okay, so next up from Raid Japan, we're gonna have something new to the shop. It's been out for a little bit, but this is the first time we we're able to get our hands on it, and that is going to be the Bakomi Craw from Raid Japan, which I already said. So this is actually a really cool one. I've, I've actually had a chance to use this. Um, I brought some packs back for, with me last year when I was in Japan. This is going to be a, it's almost like a dual style body bait. So it's originally designed for backlighting. Uh, which it does amazing. It's gonna weigh 14 grams, so it's gonna be great if you just use a weightless hook. Uh, weightless rig is, is kind of how it's preferred to be rigged. The cool thing about this bait is the body is gonna be two different types of plastic. This whole back section here, this is why I grabbed this color. It actually illustrates it the best. So the back body part that you can see there, the whole big chunky part, that's gonna be a very heavy salted um, area. And then these tentacles here, they're going to be a no salt. So the reason for doing that, it's gonna help impart action. It's gonna help them, you know, float and, and stay up in the water a little bit, but it's also gonna help them be durable. So if you guys have used anything like a K-Tech or, or anything like that, or a Gary Yamamoto Senko, you know that they don't last very long. So the body, because it's very, it's like a very thick plastic, it's gonna hold up with the claws not having any salt in them. They're gonna hold up really well. So check these out. Um, let's run through the, let's actually run through the colors really quick. We'll start with uh, Goody Pen Sakuru. Uh, chartreuse. So green pumpkin chartreuse. This one's going to be uh, Goody Pan Sekuru. I feel like I've pronounced that three different ways. Okay, so we're gonna have orange punch. So boom, boom. This is the party. I love that one. We're gonna have Scuppernong. It's pretty standard. It's like a very dark red. We're gonna have. So we're gonna have smoked shrimp. Zari miso. This is just like a black, like a, a really nice black with um, with red flake and then into like a really soft red on the back. Really cool color. And we're gonna have uh, Ayo Miso. So basically green pumpkin blue with like a, you know, a little bit of a lighter belly as well. Next up, we're gonna have Ayo Miso. It's a cool one. And finally, Pearl Strip. So that's a cool one. I like the, I like that they actually kept the tentacles a little bit of a different color. So the tentacles are gonna be that, you know, pearlescent blue, um, and then the body is going to be the shrimp with the belly being a little bit of blue as well. So check these guys out. They don't really make a bad one in, in either of those last two bits we talked about. So Bakomi Craw, check those guys out. Okay, so lastly from Raid, we have another big restock and probably one of the most popular baits in the world right now, the Fish Roller and the Super Fish Roller. So we're going to see restocks in the 4 inch, the 5 inch, uh, and the 6 and a half inch. And then we're going to see some color some color additions in the five and the six and a half. So I'll run through what we got back in stock really quick. This is likely the very last one that I'm gonna have probably until until the middle of the summer. So if you guys are looking for any of these and you're gonna need them for opener up here, I suggest getting them. If you're down south and you're gonna, you think you're gonna need them at any point in, in the year, this is the time to grab them. So I'll run through the colors really quickly. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because I feel like I talk about them every single week. So yeah. So we're gonna see a restock in Cosme Shad, Pearl Wakasagi. This is in the four inch, by the way. So I'll, I'll do each individual one. So uh, Pearl Wakasagi, and then we're gonna have Sweet Fish, Dark Cinnamon Shad, some Sand Fish, White Chartreuse. Okay, so then in the five inch, these are new colors to the shop. So these were released maybe a couple weeks ago. Um, my package was misplaced, so. I was very sad about that, it showed up. So we have four new colors for us in the five inch. We are gonna have the sweet fish color. We are gonna have the stain killer. We're gonna have the stealth fish. And then uh, pearl wagasagi. And then the six and a half inch, we're gonna see the addition of the stealth fish. 
and the stain killer. So all those are available online. Like I said, this is likely the last one. This is pretty 99%. This is gonna be the last one we're gonna have until the summertime. So if you've been looking for any of them, they keep selling out. I, I wish I could buy more. So these are gonna be available right, right now for you. Okay, so a lot of people have been asking me why the four inch and the five inch, uh, well, the three and the four inch and the five and the six and a half inch look completely different. So the four inch fish roller wasn't intentionally, let's say, I mean, I'm sure it was in mine, but it wasn't intentionally designed to be, you know, this crazy mid strolling bait. The five inch and the six and a half inch, they intentionally made this one of the most badass uh, mid strolling baits. So this is gonna have and even more extreme rolling action, um, just because that is the original intent for it. They put a lot of effort into making sure that this thing is the best at what it's meant to do. So those are the new colors that are in. That's the big restock on them. Definitely check them out. They're available now. I'm not gonna get into crazy detail right now, but at the end of the video, I'm gonna break everything down really good um, for our sale. The whole store is gonna be 20% off. There's obviously exceptions, but there's also some additional sales that you can get on stuff. So stay tuned to the end of the video. We'll go through all, all that. We're gonna break it down. And a lot of stuff you're gonna see in this video is actually gonna be on sale as well. So moving over to OSP, we're gonna have a look at the HPF Minnow Spec 2. The Spec 2 is gonna be really cool because it's going to be a silent flat sided crankbait. Um, it's gonna be 65 millimeters long. It's gonna come in a bunch of really cool colors. The main thing that I like about this guy, when everybody else is throwing a, you know, a flat sided or, you know, whatever crankbait, generally they're throwing, you know, those hard one knockers. This thing is completely silent. The downside of making something silent, you generally lose that weight transfer system, which is gonna affect castability. So what OSP did here, they moved the weight back a couple millimeters and that kind of offset the loss of casting. This is gonna be a really good one when you're on a flat side bite or you're on, and or everybody's throwing flat sided crankbaits around you and the bass is kind of getting in tune to the noise. You go to a flat sided one, it's just something a little bit different, something different for them to key in onto. This is gonna be a very tight wobble. So if you're burning it, it's gonna be you know very, very tight. If you slow it down, it's gonna have more of a wide action. So it gives you a little bit of variety in one bait, which is pretty cool. So check this one out. It's available in a bunch of dope colors. So let's start here with this one. This is gonna be Tasty Shad. Super sick one. This one's gonna be Sunset Tiger. It's a cool one there. We're gonna look at Honey Blue. This one's gonna be Champagne Gold. Black gold version two. So basically like a matte black and gold. Really cool, nice red belly on that. Blueback Chartreuse. And then finally, Funa Rin. One word, Funa Rin. So yeah, check this guy out. By making this into a silent bait, they also reduce the weight by 10%. So that's gonna help it, you know, when you're fishing around you know, heavy cover um, and you wanna burn it, stop it, have it float back up, it's gonna pop up a little bit faster uh, so you can keep going. Okay, so next up from OSP is a dope deep diving crankbait, the Asura 89. EXDR slow float. So I actually got to go out and play with this thing last week when we were testing out the new uh, Rochi X10s. This thing is awesome. So this guy's designed to go anywhere from 10 to 12 feet deep, depending on your line diameter. I was playing with this on the weekend. Something that I really liked about this is how tight it stayed. So as I was working the bait, it was staying in kind of what I would call the sweet spot pocket for a little bit longer than any of the other jerk baits we were throwing. Uh, it's also really cool to just crank down. It's, it's like a shad crankbait style as well. This is gonna be a really cool one to add in if you have deep fish a lot of the time. I fish a ton of deep. I have a frustrating time getting jerk baits down there. I'll put belly weights on there. I'll take those little Nishine weights that you can clip onto the front to get them down there. It hurts the action sometimes though. This one out of the package is designed just to get down deep. So it might say the Asura name, but it's, 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 a, different, if it's a different bait. The Asura is a lot more, I would say petite. This is kind of, you know, the fat brother of the Asura. You can see it's a little bit wider on the back, a little bit different shape body completely, but it still has amazing, amazing action and it gets down deep, it gets down deep quick. So definitely check this guy out, especially if you find that your fish are sticking onto targets. I could keep this into the target, into my like hot zone, I would say, for a little bit longer than everything else, which is really, really cool when the water is as cold as it is up here right now. So definitely one to check out, definitely one that you should have in your box, the Asura 89. Um, let's run through the colors really quick. So we'll start with the colors. We'll do this guy. This is gonna be Jinrin, really popular one. It's like a, I'd say it's like a matte minnow, I guess. We have crystal gold. 
Matt Tiger. Yep. Tasty Shad. Yep. Ururu. Wakasagi. Numuri Shad. Ghost Minnow. Crystal Blue Shiner. Chartreuse Blackback. And we're going to have Ghost Pearl. So yeah, just a really dope deep diving crankbait. Check that one out from OSP. Okay, so something really cool that OSP has always done is made all this really unique branding stuff. You know, they'll have they'll have covers for your for your trolling motor cables and for your 360s and, and all this other stuff, but they never really had boxes with their logos and, and their branding on it. Now they do. So I'm really excited to see these guys. It's just gonna be a little a little OSP box. If you're if you're a fan of the brand, you're gonna want to have one of these for sure. So they have four little slots, little dividers you can put in and out. Um, what I've been using this guy for in my boat, I'll get Ashton to show some B-roll of it. I have basically, you know, a line threader. I have my fizz kit in here. I have a spare lighter, just, just little random stuff. It's just a, a nice little box that you can throw. Maybe you like spy baiting, but you don't love spy baiting. Go throw a couple spy baits in here. Or at the end of the day, you know, you have all these baits you've cut off the need hooks, throw them in here, bring them into the shop afterwards, switch out your hooks and put them back in your boxes. A really cool one from OSP, one that I'm excited to have, one you guys will definitely like. And then we also have, I'll get Ashton to send this to me. You have this big boy. Okay, so if you're a co-angler or, you know, you fish a ton of bank or you just have a, too much stuff like I do, this is gonna be a really cool one for you. So I'm actually gonna get in here and show you, can you see it? Yeah, so we are not set up for big ones. So basically it's this big empty, you know, it's kind of like a hardish soft plastic thing. I mean, it feels like it would be collapsible, but it's not. So it's a nice structured bag. It comes with this insert in it. You can fit 3700s in there. You can fit money bags, boxes, stuff like that. It's gonna have a Velcro lid. It's gonna come with handles like this, and it's also gonna have a shoulder strap. So you can have, it has all these little attachment points that you can put like a carabiner or you know your little line cutters, stuff like that. You could probably put some little pliers in there as well. And then it also has this. I don't know what you're gonna use it for, but you'll find a use. So it has a couple of those on there. If you're a co-angler, have a look at this one. You can fit everything you need for a weekend of fishing in this thing. Tons of room, you can fit tons of boxes, tons of bags, your gloves, line spools, all the random stuff uh, in a nice compact. I believe it's, like, it seems fairly waterproof. I don't want to say waterproof, but it seems like water resistant at least. So awesome bag from OSP. I hope they keep coming out with really cool stuff like this. This week we see a really big restock in all the Blitz, but we see a bunch of new color options for the Tiny Blitz DR. So this is just gonna be the, the little little baby version of the Blitz. So this is gonna be the 45 millimeter quarter ounce. This is in specific is gonna be the deep running models. We have five new colors this week, so let's run through those quick. Okay, so chartreuse back, real gill. Good? Yep. Matt chartreuse back, real gill. Not just chartreuse back. This is the matte version, which I think is the only version they make of this. Okay, so matte real Funa. Dazzler baby gill. Tenaga version two, so just like a just a see-through craw pattern, so Tenaga version two, and then Chrome Shad. Okay, so those are the five new colors. We also, like I said, have a big restock on regular Blitz, and then there's a couple colors of Blitz Max EXDR, so check those out online. We finally got another restock on the HP Minnow, so these are gonna be available in a 3.7 inch and a 3.1 inch, so. The HP Minnow is a unique bait, so you can fish it two different ways. So if you're just gonna slow retrieve it, it's kinda gonna be a do-nothing bait. Um, you can also impart some action with fast burning it. So I'll take one out just so you can understand what I'm talking about here. The HP Minnow is a really cool bait. It's gonna look to you guys like it is a fluke style bait, which it can be used as, but this is really designed in course with iMotion. So if you're not familiar with what iMotion is, basically a spy bait, um, is iMotion, it's a do nothing bait. So this is really designed to just cast and retrieve in. It has crazy drawing power. No one, it's not what you would think that it would do, but they all have crazy drawing power. This whole iMotion concept from Japan uh, really took over a couple years ago. The biggest one is obviously the spy bait. This one's really good as well. This is gonna have a rear separated body, which is gonna help it literally do nothing. That's, that's kind of what it's designed for, um, but, 
if you really get this thing going, what that's gonna do is it's going to allow the tail to have a nice little rolling movement. So this is a really dope one for drop shotting. This is a dope one if you're gonna throw it on a ball head. Um, if you're going to you know, weightless rig this, definitely check this guy out. Uh, they're very popular, so they're back in stock. All the colors, like I mean, there's some pinks, there's some, um, a ton of really cool shad colors. You know, we got some some blacks. Um, we, we're gonna have a watermelon color. All these are back in stock in the 3.7 and the 3.1 inch size. Also, we get three dope new hats from OSP. So OSP hats are always really popular here. I own a bunch of them. Kami pretty much wears one every day. So this is gonna be in a navy blue. And then we're gonna have a, this one's probably my favorite. This is gonna be a black and green, really cool one. And then for whatever reason, Ashton's favorite red and snow camo so those are all available online check them out all right so last we're going to touch on some restocks in the doe live beavers so um all the doe live beavers are back in stock the four inch the three and a half inch the three inch i'm just going to touch on some ones that we got in that are new or that maybe you guys haven't looked at before so the first one is going to be tn flicker green pink so green boom pink cool one um got a bunch of these in stock the next one if we ever run out of green pumpkin chartreuse don't panic we have the exact same color just in a different saltwater packaging so exact same green pumpkin chartreuse just in a saltwater packaging and then finally this is probably this is a one of the number one colors in the doe live craw Ashton is literally cringing that I'm even talking about this color. This is going to be camo. So this is originally, a, this is a saltwater color, but it, it literally might be the best freshwater color that they make. So it's going to be this nice, this really cool green pumpkin and then like a brown swirl. It's, it's amazing. It looks amazing in any bit that they make it in. This is back in stock in, in a big way in the three and a half inch. So hoping to see in the four inch in the next couple weeks. Okay, so next up, we're gonna talk about the Destroyer Orochi X10. So I'm gonna to stick to the couple of the models that I've actually used, and that's gonna be the Medusa and the Super L Seal. There's a ton of information about this new rod blank technology, kind of what went into these, um, why they picked the models that they did. That's all gonna be on the product card. So if you wanna know anything more about that, check the product card. If you have any questions after that, or if you don't feel like reading the product card and you just wanna to talk to somebody, shoot me a DM. Um, call the store. We've all used them at this point. So we'll be able to walk you through whatever rod you're looking for. Please don't hesitate to call us. This rod I use for the Asura EXDR. I loved it for that. It was a great rod. Uh, it's probably not going to replace my, my two or three current jerkbait rods, but I'll definitely keep it and I'll use it for that. Where I think this rod's really going to shine is if you're a bank fisherman or a co-angler. Now, don't get me wrong. These are high-end rods. These are not, these are not, you know, throwaway rods. If you're a tournament guy, you're going to absolutely love these rods. The reason why I say bank angler and co-angler is because you can do a lot of stuff with this rod lineup. They're telling you you can do crazy amounts of stuff. I don't know about all that, but they're definitely extremely versatile, which is something unique for Mega Bass. Mega Bass, for the most part, make rods that are technique specific. They want to make the best rod available for specific actions most of the time. And I think with this new X10 wrap, they realized that they could make a more versatile rod lineup. And that's where this thing really shines. So this one in specific, I loved it for, you know, that, that 7 sixteenths. Um, I wasn't, it wasn't crazy about it for a, a, a junior plus one, but it worked. I, I threw a, a plus two on it. It was amazing. I threw that, you know, Asura EXDR. It was amazing. I'm sure there's a bunch of other really cool stuff you can do with this rod, but the versatility is where this is really gonna shine. Now, in the spinning, I picked up the Medusa because you know, the whole mid strolling thing is probably, I mean, it's all everybody talks about, that and the forward facing sonar stuff. So I picked up this rod so I could, because I knew I'd have a million questions about it and I wanted to be able to accurately answer them. I love the Max Queen. I also love this rod, but I love it for a different reason. Again, going back to that versatility, I originally took this rod out to do mid strolling. Um, we were throwing, you know, the new five inch um, fish rollers and that just wasn't in play. So I switched up, cut that off, I tied on a drop shot, I was blown away. This is a phenomenal drop shot rod. So this rod in particular, I'm gonna definitely keep and I'm gonna definitely keep using just because of that dual purpose. It worked the fish roller amazingly, but I was blown away with the drop shot. So the key things to take away from this new lineup is versatility. Like I said, if you're a bank fisherman, 
and you, you can't carry a million rods, I got 50 rods in my boat. I, I, I'm out of my mind. I need every, one rod for every little slight tweak. If, if there's a millimeter difference in a bait, I need a new rod for it. But if you're not like that and you're normal and you fish from the bank, you're a co-angler or you don't need to have that crazy assortment of stuff, really cool line to look at. There's some really cool gap rods that do stuff. From what I can tell and from what I've heard from other people who have used them and bought them um, and like our own in the shop, our own testing on the, the limited four or five models that we've used, I love them. I haven't thrown any of the swim bait ones. I don't have any feedback on those. They look cool. They feel cool in the shop. Uh, we just don't have swim bait fish right now. It's freezing cold up here. So in the summertime, I'll definitely take out, you know, I'll take out that Anaconda, I'll take out that 66. We'll put some time in on it and I'll get back to you. But for now, check out that Medusa. That was really the highlight of the whole thing for me. Um, and for the reason that I didn't buy it for, which was drop shotting. So there's that versatility. Check out the X10 lineup. I think it's a really dope one. One other thing I wanna to touch on, this is not replacing Orochi. So this is gonna slot in between the Destroyer P5 and the Orochi XX. So now in your core lineup, the, the main three were P5, Orochi XX, and Levante. This is gonna be in addition to that. So there's now gonna be four key offerings. I mean, they have Valkyries that we get periodically. There's Evolutions, there's Trizes, um, but the main four now are gonna be the P5, the XX, the X10, and the Levante. So lastly, I wanna to touch on availability. So this is gonna be unlike the other core, core products. Mega Bass is not gonna be able to produce a ton of these. These are gonna come in and out of stock um, fairly frequently. Sorry, these are gonna come out of stock frequently and in stock maybe a couple times a year. So if there's a model that you've been looking at, you know, leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer the ones that I can. Give the shop a call, ask for myself, ask for Ashton. Um, we've both had some hands-on experience with a bunch of the models, specifically these two. I can answer any questions you have about that Super L Seal and the Medusa. The swim bait rods, maybe not so much. It's just not the time of year up there, up here for that. But I have had them in my hand a ton and they feel great. So any questions you guys have, shoot us a message. Thank you guys for hanging out. Oh. I forgot. This weekend is gonna be our big spring sale. We do this every April. And this year I wanted to highlight for you guys a bunch of the extra savings you can get. So uh, we just talked about OSP. All OSP is gonna be 25% off this year. So maybe you're a really big fan of the beavers. Uh, you can pick up your year supply, save 25%. All the hard baits, all the soft baits, all the accessories, everything that I talked about in today's video and all of their OSP, 25% off. Um, additionally, so this is a brand we haven't talked about yet, but this is gonna be TetraWorks. So TetraWorks is actually a saltwater brand, but they make a bunch of really dope stuff for crappie, for panfish, um, and then also little BFS baits like this little Poco Poco here. I thought it'd be cool to get some of the stuff in your guys' hands. So we're gonna offer this off at 40%, which is a crazy saving. If you're a BFS guy, look at some of the stuff. All of their little hard baits are amazing. That's gonna be another one. Um, and then the other big one. So in the late fall, early winter, Evergreen offered a select handful of stores, a one-time opportunity buy of some of the JDM Evergreen stuff. We were lucky enough to be one of the stores. I think because it was the winter time, you guys maybe didn't have a chance to look at it. I know up here, there's snow. Not a lot of people are really thinking about fishing while they're shoveling the driveway. So I wanted you guys to have a chance to look at it and maybe try some of the baits you guys have seen in Japan and now are available over here. Again, most of this evergreen stuff is going to be a, if ever again we get it, it's gonna be very sporadic. So take this opportunity. There's a bunch of really cool stuff. You know, we have the Royal Flush Juniors, so all the hard baits, all the soft baits, you know, the, like the last A75, if you look this thing up, this is an insanely popular bait over in Japan. Very hard to get half the time. The, the D-Zone spinner baits, uh, we have the tungsten ones as well. So check out the full Evergreen Japan lineup. It's gonna be available 35% off this weekend only. I want you guys to go out, try some of the new stuff, stuff you haven't seen, you know, the flop claws are in, which is again, a really, really cool bait. And I just want you guys to have the opportunity to try it. So save 35% on me, check this stuff out. Daiwa, 25% off. There's gonna be some exceptions. All the new product from Daiwa is obviously an exception. Um, you know, the Pixies, stuff like that. 
that won't be on sale. So then there's a, a little sneaky thing you can do. So some, some discounts are only gonna be applied into your cart. If you see something that you like and you don't see a discount onto it, maybe try adding it to your cart and seeing if a discount applies to it. Like I said, most of the stuff in the store is on sale. Lake Fork Lures as well is on clearance, 40% off. Uh, there's a, a bunch of other great deals. Check our Instagram out. All the details are on the Instagram. Uh, there's also gonna be an email going out. So that's gonna start now. That's now. It's already, everything's on sale already, isn't it? Yes. Everything's on sale, look at that. Thanks for hanging out on Thursday, guys. Uh, I look forward to next week. So now that it's starting to warm up up here, we're gonna have a little bit more of an opportunity to get out, film some on the water stuff, you know, try out some of these new baits, and that's gonna give me a better opportunity to make these videos for you guys a little bit more descriptively um, and, and more in depth. So in the next couple weeks, we're gonna have more on the water videos, more sit down, talk, break down line videos for you guys, and I'm really looking forward to that. So make sure you subscribe to us, uh, leave a comment, Drop a like, and uh, thank you for hanging out. I look forward to seeing you guys every Thursday. This is getting fun for me, so next Thursday, we're gonna find something dope and bring it to you guys. Thanks for hanging out.